Welcome to the next episode of 24 Hour Skyblock. In this episode, I have a lot of farms that I want to work on. The first farm is the animal farm. So I was reading through the wiki and I found out that you have to light up the grass area. Hopefully now that the grass is lit up, it will spawn some animals. And let's also clear some of the snow. All right, the snow is cleared. All I have to do is be 24 blocks away from this area and animals should spawn. So I'll try to keep my distance throughout this episode to see if any animals will spawn. Another thing I want to do in this episode is visit that igloo. Let's actually start by visiting that igloo. So let's see if I have any slabs. So I don't really have slabs in my inventory. I think I still have, yeah, one stack of slabs in this chest and that's it. All right. So the first thing I have to do is convert them into slabs. And while I'm here, let's also deposit some of my stuff that I don't need. Ooh, I have 14 emeralds, which means I can also go to the wandering trader and get some kelp. That'll be really useful. So we could also do that later. All right, I deposited everything that I don't need. Let's go somewhere closer to the igloo and start bridging over. Hopefully I have enough. I have three stacks of slabs and 15 blocks. If there's not enough, I could always just go far more. All right, I think I'll start bridging from here. All right, I made it to the top of the igloo. I don't really want to jump down. I can see some powdered snow. There might be some traps here. Hmm, should I get my water bucket? Nah, I'll just go for it. And I'll try to make a staircase back up. Okay. Okay, good. That's not powdered snow. And let's start making a staircase upwards. All right, I made it upwards. Now I can also break these blocks to save more planks. Okay, let's go inside. Let me break this powdered snow. Ooh, okay, carpet. I think I should be able to stand on those, so let's drop down. Ooh, okay. Olaf! Oh, it's Olaf! Hello! Hi there! Why are you stuck inside? It looks like it wants to go out. I'm not letting you out. Anyways, oh wait, spruce! Oh, spruce saplings! Okay, I can grow some spruce trees. Let's see what's in this chest. Mmm, nothing useful. Maybe the foot could be useful. I don't know what I can make with that, but I'll take all that. And let's see. Oh, wooden shovel. I think that is it. Let me also take this bed. Bye, Olaf. You're staying here. And should I break the carpet to see what's down below? I'm kind of scared. Yeah, let me just do it. And I'll just stand on this gray wall. Okay, so nothing here. Okay, it looks like there's nothing. I'll also check this gray wool. Let me actually stand on a wooden slab just to be safe. Okay, so what's down below here? Oh, there's a chest. Yes. Okay, what's inside? Oh, nothing useful. Rip. Anyways, let's go back up. All right, so the only good thing that I got was the spruce sampling. Oh, wait. Oh, I just thought of something. I can use the spruce sampling to make more dirt. And I'll show you that in this episode. All right, I'm back home. It looks like no animals have spawned yet, which sucks. But hopefully they'll spawn within this hour. All right, I made it back home. Let's deposit the stuff that I don't need and then get some stuff for the spruce. All right, I deposit everything. Let's grow some spruce and I'll show you how to get more dirt. So let's get the dirt and make an area for the spruce trees to grow. Hmm. So this area is already oak. I could make another area to the left side just for spruce. Not too crazy because I don't have that much dirt left. Oh, why, why am I taking all the dirt? Let's see. Let me do four dirt. Oh, four dirt. And let me grab some blocks to build an area. Oh, I don't have that much. And I also need some wood. Yeah, I need wood and cobblestone slabs. Let's mine for some cobblestone. All right, let's see how much I got. Oh, 64 cobblestone. Awesome. And let's convert them into slabs. Let's just convert half of them into slabs. All right. And then now I need to collect some wood. All right, 20 logs. I hope that's enough. Let's convert some of them into slabs. Okay, so now I have 64 and 15 slabs. I think that's good enough. Let's start with making a small area for the spruce. I want to make it symmetrical. Okay, so let's go to the middle of this tree farm and make another area. 
just for the spruce. Or maybe I could just make an area for the other tree types. Let's space this out. Let's see. Let's do 10 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 blocks. All right. And then let me expand the bridge. All right, so I finished the bridge. Let's make the area for the tree farm. I don't think I need to make it as wide as my oak tree farm. Let's do like five blocks out. So one, two, three, four, five blocks out. And same thing on the other side, five blocks out. So if this is five blocks, five blocks, and then one block in the middle, that'll be 11 blocks. So let's do 11 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And let me fill out everything. Oh, I ran out of blocks. Whoops. Let me make some more and let's continue filling in the whole platform. Oh wow, exactly enough. Perfect. All right, so let's see, where should I space out my dirt? I could put it in the middle because I don't want the trees to grow and then the saplings to drop off the platform. So yeah, let's put it in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, and then this block should be the middle. Let's break this and put the dirt. All right, let's put a sapling here. And then I hope this grows while I am... Oh, wait, wait, I need to light it up too. So let's just put a slab here and I put a torch like that. Okay, I'm going to put the oak slabs around the platform hopefully this tree will grow while i am putting it down if it doesn't i could always just get some bone meal all right i finished the oak slabs it hasn't grown yet so let's get some bone meal okay so convert the bones into bone meal okay 48 bone meal that should be enough to get a lot of trees let's grow this there you go Ooh, a big one nice hopefully it drops some saplings please saplings i hope you drop i need more spruce <gasps> yes Okay, nice. One sapling dropped. Okay. And let's... Ooh, another sapling. Yes. Oh, yes. Another sapling. So if I want to get more dirt, I need to have four spruce saplings. <gasps> oh, four saplings. Okay, awesome. Let's see. Should I do... Should I get more saplings or should I just do the dirt? I could still get more saplings by doing the dirt thing. So I should do that. All right, let me show you how to get more dirt. So what I need is moss and I need blocks like cobblestone. I don't have any more cobblestone. So let's mine for some more cobblestone. All right, so I got 23 cobblestone. Now I have 25. That should be a good amount. So what you have to do is you have to make a platform using normal blocks yeah something like this and then you have to have a moss block somewhere in the middle like that and bone mill it oh oh it doesn't work with cobblestone oh okay my bad i think it has to be stone then all right let me just break this all down and then convert the cobblestone into stone okay oh man this dirt turned into a moth well i can get more dirt anyways so shouldn't be a big problem let's use this furnace and convert let's do 16 blocks and let's convert that into stone uh i don't have my charcoal let me get my charcoal right I got my charcoal and let's get some stone. So I need to put two charcoal. While I wait, I could just mine for some more cobblestone. All right, it looks like the furnace is done. So let's see. Yeah, 16 stone. Awesome. Let's see how much cobblestone I mined. Oh, 64 and 39. Awesome. Okay, so what I have to do is the same thing. I just have to put blocks down. So let's put the stone down. There you go. And then let's put a moss block right here. And then when I bone mill it, the moss spreads like that. Let me clear this carpet and let's bone mill one more time to make all of this into moss. And one more time. There you go. Ooh, some azaleas too. Awesome. Once I'm done clearing this carpet, all I have to do is plant the saplings. So if I plant the saplings like this, a two by two and grow it, Look at that, I got dirt and a huge tree. Awesome, let's see how much dirt I got. So I have three in my inventory. If I break all of this, oh wait, before I break it, let's clear this tree. I really hope this tree drops enough saplings for another big tree. It didn't look like there was a lot of leaves, so I'm kind of worried. It would suck if it didn't drop any saplings. Oh yes, one sapling, and I hope they drop more. Oh, there you go, another sapling, awesome. All right, let's see how many, oh, Another sapling. Nice. Oh, another sapling. See? Four saplings. Awesome. All right. Let's see how much dirt I got. So I have three in my inventory. Let's see. 
and now I have 20. So I got 17 saplings and I also made this back into dirt. So that's perfect. Oh, wait a minute. Did I? Oh, no. Don't I need another moss block to convert more? Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh. Rip. I'm the biggest noob. All right. So I don't have any more moss, which means I can't get any more dirt. And uh, that sucks. But I did just Google how to get moss. And the good thing is wandering traders can trade for moss. So hopefully a wandering trader will spawn and I can trade for moss. I also have emeralds now, so that's perfect. I can't believe I did that. Anyways, well now I have 20 new dirt. I also have enough saplings to grow more spruce. Um, let me just put this down and let's work on the next farm. Okay, so it looks like no animals have spawned yet. Man, I really hope animals spawn in this episode or in this world. I don't know why they're not spawning. I also did check the biome for this area. It was a snowy taiga, which means passive animals should spawn so it's not the biome that is affecting the spawn all right the next farm i want to work on is a bamboo and sugarcane farm so the bamboo farm is really easy i just need to put it on the dirt i could just put it on this place but i don't want to prevent any animals from spawning so let's make a small area just for the bamboo i'll use one dirt and let's see let's just put it let's put it somewhere where it's already wide enough somewhere like here and and put a bamboo there you go hopefully this will keep on growing and then I can get bamboo to make scaffolds let me show you why I want some scaffolds so let me go to the nether oh wait oh the two baby villagers were in the nether the whole time oh my gosh no wonder why they disappeared well I don't really need them anymore I'll just leave them here all right so the reason why I want scaffold is to use scaffold and drop some scaffold down to that cobblestone platform. I want to know what's there. I want to know what that sign says. So that's why I want scaffold. All right, let's go back. And let's start making our sugarcane farm. So I could use the dirt, but I could also use sand. So um, let's use the dirt and then let's keep the sand for the cactuses. So let's start making an area for a sugarcane. So I was thinking of making the area close to this farm area. I could just use this area. So let's make it like this and like this with water in between. All right, so if I put dirt all around here, like that all i have to do is put water here so i don't need to put like water like that i could just put slabs and then water log it so let's do that let's slab it and then let's get a bucket of water all right so one bucket let's get two buckets do i have two buckets yeah i have two buckets all right it'll be much easier with two buckets so i just need to put it on this and this oh oh it doesn't spread Oh, okay. So how many do I need? So one, two, three, four, five. I need five more buckets. Okay, so this is two. There you go. And there you go. And I need three more. There you go. And here. And one more. Okay, there you go. Let's plant the sugar cane. Hopefully I can get enough to make a lot of paper and make some books. So a good thing about our villager trading hall is that I could get bookshelves from trading with the librarian. Oh, oh wait, they grew up. Okay, awesome. Let's see. Silk touch. Um, Actually, silk touch is pretty useful if I want to collect some grass, but let's focus on getting mending first. Okay, so I could get these two villagers back in their respective places. Easy way to do that is to use minecart. So let's make some mine carts. So I need some iron and let's see if I have enough wood. Yeah, I have enough wood to make some sticks. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, so I make some rails and let's get a mine cart. There you go, a mine cart. Okay, so I have some rails and a mine cart. Let's put the iron back and then let's transport those two villagers into yeah. there. Wait, did I just see something fall? Or was it just the water? I think it was the water. Anyways, let's get these two villagers to their areas. So what is this guy? Toolsmith. Is that the smithing table? I think that's the smithing table. All right, so let's get the lectern guy first. Let me just use the cobblestone to make a top area like this. And then I'll drop it in here. And oh, let me also get the blocks like the stairs and the trapdoors. 
All right, so the stairs, trapdoors. I think I need to make more trapdoors, so let's do that. Okay. Ooh, a piglin. Ooh, okay. So piglins will spawn where the portal is. I could kill the piglins for gold nuggets. All right, so let's get this rail going. And then if I just push this guy, let me push this guy into the minecart. Yes, there you go. And let's get this guy inside of our station. Okay, cool. And let me break this cobblestone and put the stair like that. And one last thing, the trap door. Uh, this is so hard. There, oh, there you go. Okay, so now I could just break the lectern and then put on hitboxes just so I don't hit this villager and hit the side of the minecart. <gasps> oh, no. No, 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 no. Let me block this. Oh my gosh. How am I going to do this? Mm, okay. Let me block all of this and break this stair block. Push this guy. Push this guy. Yeah. Yeah. And close it. Yeah. Okay. Ah, that scared me. Ooh. And let's put the lectern down and let's see what this guy is going to trade next. Hello? Why aren't you turning into a librarian? Hello? Um, okay. This guy just doesn't want to trade. All right. I'll just leave you alone. Now let's get this toolsmith into their station. So let's put the rails again like this. And let's go up. And my minecart. And let's push this guy. Come on. Go in the minecart. Yes, yes, yes. Go in. Yes. And let me push you in. Yes, we got it. Okay. Same thing. Break all of this and put a stair and a trap door. This time I'm just going to let the trap door be horizontal like this. Let's see if I can break. Oh wait, let me grab that first. Let me see if I could break this minecart. There you go. And then I could just close this and get the minecart. There you go. Put down this smithing table. And what do you get? Why isn't this guy trading? Oh, okay. I think I know why. It's because they are... Look at this guy. He's trying to look at that blast furnace. So this guy wants to go to the blast furnace. This guy probably wants to go to the grindstone. So if I break this blast furnace, I think this guy would just look at the lectern now. So let's see. Why are you still staring at the blast furnace that I broke? Huh? Why aren't you turning into a lector? I mean, a librarian. Anyways, let's try breaking this grindstone and see what happens. Oh, okay. None of them are changing. Interesting. Um, all right. I'll just put the blocks back then. Okay, whatever. They should turn into their occupations soon. So I'll just leave them alone. Let's put strip logs. Nice. This looks really good. Awesome. All right. And oh, wait, what the? Why is that guy up there? Is it one of the bed guys? No, it's not the bed guys. This guy needs to be down. Oh my gosh, this guy, he's like trying to go to the bed. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for it to be daytime then. Oh, it looks like our bamboo grew. Let's get some bamboo. All right, two bamboo, awesome. I'll just let the bamboo keep on growing. Or actually, I could grow it here while I wait for more sugar cane to grow. And oh, I think I need to light this up too. I could use these slabs. I'll just put it on this side and a torch and also on this side on a torch. This hole is kind of bothering me now. So I could just replace it with some cobblestone slabs. Okay, 21 slabs. There you go. I might do something here with the wood. Could change it all into cobblestone. So let's do that. All right, I changed all of this back into cobblestone. It looks much nicer now. Oh, wait, I still have this. All right, okay, all of this is cobblestone. Awesome. I'll just leave these two wooden ones for the torches. And another thing I wanted to do in this episode was make a lava duplicator. So let me grab the items. I need a cauldron, pointed dripstone, and I need a lava bucket. There you go. So let's set up a simple area just to make more lava. Let's just put it right next to the portal then. All right, so I need to put a cauldron here. Oh, let me put it down one block below. Put it there. And then the dripstone has to be... Can it be one block here? I think it can be, but I'm going to be safe and leave one airspace. All right, so let's put... Cob 
Oh, not that. Let's put a cobblestone like that. And then a lava should go here. So let me put a barrier around it. All right, like that. Let me clear these blocks. Okay, let me build up a little so I can see. Yeah, like that. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait, no, it has to be one more block up right here. Yeah, the pointed dripstone will go here. And then the lava should go here. So let me put down blocks like that and the lava. There you go. Let's see if the dripstone, yes, it's dripping down some lava. It'll end up getting more lava gradually, and then I can collect it using a bucket. All right, awesome. Cool, more bamboo, three more bamboo. Let's just grow it here. All right, one more thing I want to work on is I want to put hoppers where my mob farm is. So I need nine hoppers. Let's just get 48 iron and make nine chests first. Let's see, do I have enough blocks? Let me just use the spruce logs. All right, so I need nine. Let's see, so that's eight and one more. There you go, nine chests and let's make nine hoppers. Cool. Let me also make one more chest to use down there. Or I could just make a double chest. All right, let's go down. Oh my gosh, that was so close. I forgot I had a bridge up there. Oh, Ooh. so another thing I learned while reading the wiki for the animal spawning is that I actually don't need to light up this mob farm because it won't take up the mob cap because the mob cap is split up with hostile mobs and passive mobs. So because these mobs in the mob farm are hostile, they won't take up the mob cap for my animal farm. So after I put down the hoppers, I could go up and take those torches away. Let's see, where do I want to put the chest? So I could change this. Oh wait, no, I could leave it there and have a chest here like that. And I can still access this crafting table and still use the chest. All right, let's put the hoppers. So I'm gonna put hoppers connecting to the chest like that and then on the sides connecting to the hoppers in the middle. There you go. That should be perfect now. Let's go up and take the torches and see if the hoppers will pick up every block now. All right, so let's break this. And do I have slabs? Yeah, I have slabs. And let's do it for all four sides. And there you go. All right, it should be dark inside. Let me break this bridge. And when I go down, mobs should start spawning. And let's see if these hoppers will pick up everything. Okay, awesome. Mobs are spawning. Let's kill them and see if it will pick up. Okay, so far it looks like everything is getting picked up. Let's see if it's all going into the chest. All right, awesome. And none of them are in the hoppers. So yeah, I did it correctly. All right, cool, it works. Awesome. And I'll just leave this chest here and I'll leave these chests here. I should sort it someday, but not today. Let's go back up. All right, I'm back up. Let's see if there's any animals. Nope. Man, what is wrong with this? Am I doing something wrong or does it have to be wider? It might need to be wider actually. So let's use some of the remaining dirt that I have. Oh, I was holding the dirt the whole time. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Oh, good thing I didn't die when I dropped down and almost hit the bridge. All right, let's see. So how wide is this right now? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. Should I just do eight by eight or no? Nah, let me just expand it maybe two blocks more. So let's clear this cobblestone and put the dirt. So this is just temporary. I know it's going in where that bridge is and it looks kind of weird, but this is just temporary just to get some animals. Once I get two of each animal, then I will get rid of all of this and put the cobblestone back. All right, I hope this time the animals will spawn once the grass is spread all over. If it doesn't, then I have no idea what's wrong. Please, please work. Wow, a lot of bamboo, awesome. And another spruce tree, cool. Well, we accomplished a lot of things and an hour is almost up. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next episode. Goodbye. Okay,